Mark van der Gijs, again on a plane, not from Estonia. Where are you going now? Uh, on the way to Miami right now for the Bitcoin conference. Ah, the Bitcoin the biggest, conference, yes. The biggest Bitcoin conference in the world, 4,000 people, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that will be an extremely exciting atmosphere now that uh, Bitcoin and all the other crypto coins went down for 20%. What is your reaction? Well, buy more, right? I mean, there's a great opportunity. The, the fundamentals didn't change, so it's a good time to, uh, to buy more. Uh, I've got some limit orders in, and uh, I'm pretty happy, actually. Yeah. Yes, so it's complain. a great time to buy, yeah. hodl, and basically expand. Is there any reason that you know why this, uh, why this reaction is uh, so strong? Yeah, well, I mean, it's because, you know, the South Korean government had some announcements. The Chinese government is saying that they, you know, may want to, you know, ban crypto completely. It will never happen, of course. But, you know, many, many people who are new to Bitcoin don't really understand it. And, you know, they have weekends, they start selling. And that's a great buying opportunity, in my opinion. So okay. I'm, 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 I'm in the market for, for a lot of new coins right now. Yeah. Yes. What are your top coins at the moment? Um, I buy a lot of Ethereum right now. Uh, I think Ethereum has a good potential for the next couple of months. Um, Bitcoin, obviously, as usual. Uh, Amarcoin is still a big favorite of mine. Uh, we're going to do uh, a meetup, uh, an Amarcoin meetup in uh, in Miami. Mm -hmm. And uh, even Max Kaiser is coming. Maybe you know him from RT. Yes. Yep. So that's going to be interesting. He's, uh, yeah. So it's going to be big. Okay. Yeah. What do you want to accomplish at the uh, at the uh, Bitcoin conference? And, uh, and which people do you want to meet? Well, you know, not specific people. I mean, it's it's everybody's there. I mean, 4,000 people. It's, you know, all the new people are there and all the old people are still there. So it's really about networking. It's, uh, you know, listening to what people have to say or hearing about new opportunities, uh, finding new investment opportunities for my funds. Um, and, you know, just having a good time. It's always good to be in Miami in summer, in, uh, in winter. So Yes, it yeah. is a fantastic time to be there. And, and what is the conversation? Is it about... You know, is Bitcoin very important for the conversation, or are the other platforms, or is it more ICO? What's really, uh, what's really, or the government, uh, or the government regulation? What are the, what are the big topics? You know, the, the, the conference is still called the Miami Bitcoin Conference, or the in, in North American Bitcoin Conference, but it's really more about other things nowadays. I think ICO is a big topic. Um, there's a lot about, you know, altcoins, new altcoins. Um, I think, you know, given what happened in, in, in South Korea and in China over the past days, I think that will be a major issue as well, we will discuss. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's, you know, same as usual, not nothing special, I think, so. Uh, yeah. You just lost 20% of your capital, you don't, you don't do have one smile uh, less and you don't drink anything. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not worried about it, it's an opportunity, I feel, it's good. It's good to have the, uh, the weekends out of the markets, and it's you know I'm not selling anyway, so it's good. I'm still believe it's uh, still believe it's gonna go, you know, to the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you know, I'm not worried about it. It's, uh, it's a temporary thing, and you know this is normal in crypto. You know, yes. they're lo losing 50 or even 70 percent of your money happens every now and then. Just don't sell. Keep keep holding, and uh, you know a few months later it's gonna be back up again. Yeah. Hey, uh, is this plane flying now? Are you now in the air? No, I'm actually not. Let me uh, I'm just show you out of the window here. I'm sure you can see it. I'm still taxiing. Okay. Oh, nice weather. Where, yeah. where are you from? Is it Vancouver? Uh, this is, no, this is Toronto, actually. Okay. It's uh, nice snow on the ground and uh, it's cold. Okay. Miami hey, should be warm, so. Yeah. Hey, we just had a talk last time when you were in Estonia, where you were in, uh, in Iceland, and you basically announced the sell of your block, uh, block fund, your, uh, your bank, First Coin. Uh, how, how have the reactions been? I saw it was in Bloomberg and other places. Yeah, very positive, of course. I mean, many people are surprised that that this company was sold so quickly. And uh, but it's making it a lot easier to raise money for for a new fund I'm doing. Um, I'm going to do a, a fairly large fund uh, over the next couple of months. The first one to raise 100 million dollars. We're probably going to up it to 250 million dollars. The mining and, uh, for the mining a, company. Uh, no, no, that's not a company again. No, this hiding we did this week, we just finished the, uh, the roadshow. We raised uh, $70 million. And now we're going to do a uh, blockchain fund, investing in, in mainly public blockchain companies, um, raising $250 million for that one. And that's that's happening over the next couple of weeks. Okay. So will, uh, yeah. will it be fun to... Uh, is, is that also useful for these people in Miami? Uh, do you find people who are... We have an interest in that. Do you find investors? No, no, it's it's mainly for um, I would say it's mainly for people that don't really know how to invest in in, in, in you know in, in Bitcoin and, and currencies. Um, just give them exposure to something that's easy to buy on the stock market. So it's a listed a listed fund. It's not a private fund. It's listed. It's going to listed on the uh, Toronto Stock Exchange. 
Okay, it's going to be busy. First, the mining company next month, and then the uh, the blockchain uh, the blockchain investment fund. Okay. Yeah, and I'm and I'm going to take my uh, my company first block out of public as well for a couple of, in a couple of months. So also raised some money for that one this week. Raised uh, ten million dollars. So that's that's enough for the next couple of months. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I mean, keep it busy. It's fun. Keep you busy. Hey, Mark. A lot of people uh, in a lot of media. They have this old-fashioned idea. They want to interview you face to face in the Netherlands. Anytime you uh, basically <laughs> drop down, um, hopefully on the 29th for the 30th, uh, for um, just a small moment. Uh, no, the 29th, I'm flying from Vancouver to London to Munich to Tbilisi. So I'll I'll do I'll do an interview with you over Skype during the conference, but I won't be able to drop by in Holland. It's uh, just crazy busy. I'm flying hey, every day. You're, so. you're you're basically going from Vancouver to London. Just hop over, hop over for a small moment into into beautiful <laughs> Amsterdam and immediately go on. In, in two and three hours, you're gone. I don't have my private jet yet, Vincent. So maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Okay. Yeah. All righty, Mike. But thank you very much and enjoy Miami. We'd like to. Uh, I would like to. Uh, after the first day, I would like to have a little uh, feedback on the conference and uh, which Sounds speakers just, were interesting. Just connect me. That's uh, just just call me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're taking off here, so... Uh, yes, bye. It's See a tradition. Bye. Every time in the plane, I'm going to interview you. Bye. Then you have to interview me every day, so... <laughs> <laughs>